Hey, this is Jeff again, and I'm talking about a device that I recently created that I call the grinder box, or on some days I call it the weirding module. This was uh, loosely inspired by seeing the videos created by the band Author and Punisher, because he makes these very uh, elaborate, heavy devices that he, that he uses to control synths. I um, like really tactile instruments as well. And so I built this thing when I realized, um, through some other experiments, that stepper motors, well, actually any electrical motor, creates a great deal of electromagnetic noise. If you ever get a motor anywhere near a guitar, you will find out. Um, this is a stepper motor, which is just uh, using a bunch of printers, uh, scanners, robotics, all kinds of, we got a lot of those at the makerspace. So I put an LED across some of the contacts, and you notice that you know, actually when you, when you twist the motor by hand, it actually generates a little electricity. But what you have inside, of course, are a bunch of coils. And there's magnets on the, the rotor, and the magnets are being um, rotated around, and they're you know, creating a, a current in the coil. Usually it runs the other way. You put electricity through the coils, and it causes the rotor to jump to, to a new step. But I put a guitar pickup next to one and found out that it makes these interesting noises because the guitar pickup, just the coil, is picking up these electromagnetic pulses and converting them to a signal that can be read by an amplifier. So I took two stepper motors, I printed gears for them that I uh, um, got offline, I, I designed them uh, off of uh, something on Thingiverse, and I have one large one and then two small ones driving the two stepper motors. Um, this was the original drive gear, but it turned out I didn't like how big it was where the crank was located, so I actually duplicated that drive gear, only I added a external ring that is larger to it. And then sitting on top of each of the stepper motors inside is just a single coil pickup that I made myself printed the bobbin, wound the coils on the lace, and this is it. It just sits on top. And then they jack through a three-way selector switch and a volume knob and a tone knob, just like you would on a guitar. So um, on one side, it's just the sound of the magnets going by, plus some crosstalk that you get from the, the uh, other motor. And then of course the middle is both. And then on this side it's just this one that has an LED bridging across it. You're actually getting current that's being induced in the coils and that's a, an additional pulse in addition to just the magnetic field going by. You actually get that uh, pulse coming off of it. And you can see it flickering as I, I turn it. So, this is a weird, weird little drone noise instrument, and I'm just going to turn it up here a bit. And you can go just a couple steps at a time. Or you can start cranking it. The faster you go on most uh, instruments like hurdy-gurdies or whatever that have a crank, the faster you go, the louder it gets. In this case, of course, because you're creating sequential pulses, the faster you go, the higher the frequency is. So when you go fast, So high, low, and of course you can always add in some other things, some reverb, you know. Of delay. shift do. Let me see. Okay, that's fun. Um, 
Do 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 do. Perhaps an envelope filter. Just run it completely, completely clean. I should be able to run this completely clean. And that's just the sound of the pulses themselves. So that is it. The grinder box, aka weirding module. My name is a killing word. And uh, it's pretty cool. I'm very fond of it. It came out, it's, it makes pretty dreadful sounds, but it came out exactly the way that I envisioned it, and therefore I am totally counting this as a success. <laughs>